While the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season is among us and our islands are no stranger to these catastrophic storms, yesterday, Director of the National Emergency Management Agency, Captain Stephen Russell, issued financial assistance estimating $72,000 to family island residents impacted by the devastating Hurricane Irma in 2017. Captain Russell and a team made the visit on Friday to issue checks on behalf of the government. The financial aid was based on assessments carried out by the technical teams of the former National Recovery and Reconstruction Unit. Following the assessments, 18 households were approved for assistance and receive a maximum of $4,000 per household to further assist with post-Hurricane Irma recovery efforts. During the assessments, it was also discovered that approximately 45% of the houses impacted were not built in accordance with the Bahamas Building Code. Captain Russell reminded members of the Ragged Island District Council that they must ensure that buildings constructed on the island be built in accordance with the code, stressing that as hurricanes are becoming more frequent and more intense, they must make hurricane preparedness a part of their way of life all year round. And good deeds are the order of the day. The females of Women Entry 2 of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force recently came together to hold a fundraiser in aid of medical expenses for several of their comrades. Chief Petty Officer Arlene Moss, Petty Officer Marianne Ferguson, and Nova Cox were the recipients of cash donations that were raised during a cookout on July 14th. Making the presentations was Base Executive Officer Commander Michael Sweeting. Commander Sweeting spoke highly of the squad, which he says has has continued to demonstrate their commitment to the organization. The all-female squad of women entry two enlisted in the Defense Force on September 21, 1987, with a total of 34 individuals with 14 members currently serving. Chief Petty Officer Raquel Forbes, coordinator for the fundraiser, commended the officers and Marines and the general public for their contributions and support. Both Officer Moss and Officer Ferguson expressed their thankfulness for the assistance. Stay with us up next to check on sports and weather.